in my yet unpublished book, which is called The Three Branches of the River, I discuss the purpose of the Torah mitzvahs, the purpose of the world. And actually it follows three ways to look at the world. There are those who believe that the world is an obstacle course, that there is no goodness in the world per se except for what we infuse it with through the Torah and mitzvahs, and that it is best for man to leave this world, to go outside of the world, and to study the Torah and be separated from the world as much as one could possibly do and that leads the person to focusing totally on God and being one with his creator in this physical world, this veil of tears. Accordingly, there would be no purpose to being in this world except as an obstacle course. Once you've passed the course, you go on and you've succeeded, your obstacles in, in facing them, there would be no purpose in coming back to this physical world because you've reached your goal on the outside. Then there are those who say that, no, God made a world that's good, and one must learn to understand and appreciate the wisdom of God in this world. But once a person understands that and is able to function properly in this world, that's the opinion of the Rambam, for example, then eventually, after the human being understands the wisdom of his creator, there still is no purpose to the world for you've gotten the lesson, you've learned your lesson, you appreciate how God does things, how God is kind and God is good, and you're functioning with the world, but there is no purpose to the world itself either. And so, according to both opinions, one opinion, leave the world, the other opinion, stay in the world and understand God's wisdom, and God's love from the world, there still isn't the purpose to the world. The world does not remain forever, or should not, or does not have to remain forever. The Hasidic approach is that God very much wants a world, because God wants to be part of the world. God wants to be king in the world. And the purpose of creation is to sanctify everything in the world, to make everything a vessel for God. And in this scenario, the physical world is very much part of the future because that's God's ultimate desire. Since God's ultimate desire is to be king among physical human beings in a physical world, then the physical world is part of God's desire. And since it's part of God's desire, it becomes eternal. And therefore, the Hasidim conclude that people will exist in their bodies forever. That not only will there be resurrection of the dead for which there will be judgment according to Maimonides or a temporary arena of reward according to others, but rather this world is the ultimate arena of where God will give us our ultimate reward, which is the presence of God in the physical. And so these are three different approaches. Do we leave the world, learn from the world, or sanctify the world? Three branches, three ways of doing the mitzvahs, three ways of receiving God's rewards.